Explain what we have here today. So today, um, this is a brand that I created for um, women of all ages. It's a um, hair care products. Um, we have um, edge control. We have a like special brush I made for the edges, and then we have hair gel. So oh, and then we have a scarf. You know, that's a girl thing. You kind of tie your edges down and uh, set them. But I created this brand um, just because, you know, I think it was like back in 2016, uh, you know, like it was like a baby hair epidem epidemic and people were just like, you know, laying their edges and then like, you know, it went high fashion and like everything, everybody was making a big deal out of like the whole edges thing. So I kind of just created something that I felt like nobody was, um, attacking and I just kind of um, like went for it and now here we are and I've made a brand out of it so let's break a few things down let's start with the box hold that box up again right. and and tell us about this box this is pretty eye-catching hold it yeah okay. there you go uh, this is pretty eye-catching explain just with the packaging here before okay. we even get into the uh, individual products inside okay so the box is okay so as you can see it's kind of iridescent it's just something I don't know, is iridescent like a color or is it like a pattern? You know, you probably know more than I would. I yeah, think. okay, we're gonna call it a color. Okay, we're gonna call it a color today. So, I just always have been ex obsessed with this like color, so I always said like, once I start like a brand or something, whether it be makeup or anything, I would always, probably this would be my go-to. So the whole box is kind of colored as such, and then this is me, this is how I normally wear my hair. It's different today. But, yeah, so. This is something you designed? Yes. I designed this, and I mean, with the help of um, my uh, brand manager, but pretty much I gave her my ideas, and she kind of helped me execute my plan. And the name, Laid by Lyra, where did that come from? So, Laid is a girl term. Um, you could... It's, it, it's used for so many th things, like, you know, your makeup is laid or your hair is laid. So I just, um, you know, took it like, you know, I, like I laid your edges, so lay by Lyra. I see. Uh, now, let's go through the products one by one that okay. you have in there. Um, and this time you can pull it out and, okay. and, and show it a little bit better for people watching. Uh, uh, I don't know which product you want to start okay. with that's in here, but... So we're going to start with the edge control. This goes on this part of your hair. I don't know if you can see. My edges are pretty laid. Um, and you, I mean, you can also use it to slick up your hair. It's clear, um, doesn't flake up, um, just stuff like that. I mean, like, and then I have, um, you know, usually girls use, I don't know, can you see this? We can't see that part. When you hold it up, we see Okay, it. good. Okay, so usually girls use a toothbrush to lay their edges. So I created my own toothbrush. Looks like this. There it is. There it goes. And I took my time on this because what people don't know is, like the two brushes that they use are two brushes that you brush your teeth with. And like that's never gonna get you the perfect, you know, kind of like edge lay, if you will. Okay. So I. I'm um, creating my own brush, has all flat bristles. We extended the head, made it longer. Just, you know, we just took time on like this whole, this whole thing. And then um, I have my hair gel. Hair gel is for, um, also again, oh no, wait, sorry. The hair gel is also, you could be used for your edges, it could be used for slick ponytails, stuff like that. And I know most girls, after they lay their edges down, they want to tie their hair with a little scarf and set it while they do their makeup. So like when, when after you do your makeup, you, you know, you take your scarf off and your edges are pretty laid. And then go on about your night, your day, stuff like that. Now, okay, how long did this take to develop for you? Okay, development was probably, we took um, almost a year and a half. Okay. Because I didn't, um, take the easy route. I didn't do private labeling. I didn't just slap my name on something. We actually um, works with a manufacturer out of the country. Um, 
we went to China, we worked with chemists, we went to the labs, we kind of did all that kind of stuff. Back and forth to China, stuff in and like back and forth from customs, you know, that kind of takes a long time. So we probably worked on this probably a, like a year and a half. Uh, why China of all places? That sounds like a very long way away to do this stuff <laughs> and very expensive. Everything is made in China. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> now, um, okay, it took you. So this, did it start out as one product? Like, did you just want to have one, pro like not a whole kit at first? Is that how it started? Or is this what you envisioned from the jump? No, okay. So at first we, at first I started out like, oh, I'm just going to drop some edge control, whatever, whatever. But I was like, you know what? No, because I noticed like people, like a lot of girls were like, say if they sold hair, they would just drop a edge control. So I was like, how can I set like myself apart? So I created my own avenue and just thought like, what could I add to this to make it better and make it stand out? So I decided to create, that's when the brush came in. I was like, we'll, we'll, we'll package it with a brush. And then I was like, you know what? No, let's do gel too. And then I know like my friends, they tie their hair up at night to go to sleep, don't want to mess it up, or they tie their edges down. So it's just like different ideas I was pulling from just my friends or, you know, just different ideas that I had. And then we decided to make it a kit, which I'm, I, I'm really happy I, I decided on that. Uh, I see. I got you. So this is this whole thing. This whole thing is not something like somebody put a battery in your back and said, "Hey, Lyra, you got a big following. You have a popular name. Let's just throw a product out there that you could co-sign and, and and sell and make some money off of." This is something you personally wanted to do. Yeah. So no. Yeah. Of course. No. Nobody like gave me this idea. Um, you know, I just kind of. This is just something that I'm not gonna say that I created edges or I invented them, but you know, I'm pretty known on social media for having like nice laid hair edges and hair and you know, I just knew people paid attention that, to that kind of stuff from me. So I took like, I just took it and turned it into a brand I see. for myself. You mentioned at the top of the segment that this product is for all ages. Uh, is it a certain type of ethnicity, nationality or race for this product or? No, good question. Okay, so I made sure that this product was um, for women of all ethnicities. Um, I just had a shoot for the product uh, launch, and we had girls with fine hair and curly hair, and um, you know, my girls with thicker hair will understand what I mean by 4C hair, you know, um, and I, that's what I mean, like I worked with chemists and we, you know, put stuff in and added stuff. You know, we just went through a lot of trial and error to make a, a dope product for girls with all types of hair. I mean, I don't have, like, the easiest hair to do with myself, so. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, but uh, even with today, you're wearing your own product. Of course I am. Mm. There it goes right there, shining and gleaming. Now, if people want some more information on the product, uh, they want to see the ingredients in the product, uh, they even want to purchase the product. How can they do so? So they can go either on my YouTube channel that I just created, um, my Instagram, or um, the site, laidbylair.com, which is www.laidxlira.com. 